Welcome to a demo video of GitLab CI on GitLab SaaS Shared Runners for Mac OS. My name is Darren Eastman, and I'm the Senior Product Manager for GitLab Runner SaaS, Core, and Fleet. Today, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to run builds for the Apple ecosystem on GitLab SaaS Shared Runners. In this video, we'll demonstrate a simple pipeline job for an iOS application running on a GitLab SaaS Mac OS runner. First, we'll look at the example pipeline configuration file to show you how to set the tag to use the runner. If you need a different image type, then on the docs page for GitLab SaaS, you will find a list of available images for the Mac OS runners, their tags, and content. I'll share the page with you later on in the video. Finally, we'll manually start the pipeline and look at the results of the job execution. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to pop over to our GitLab IDE and have a look at our project. So we currently have a test iOS application project set up on GitLab. The file I want to take, draw your attention to is the gitlab yaml file. This is the file where you'll be defining your pipeline jobs. It's where your magic happens. So let's take a look at this file. Let's break it down. First, we're establishing some defaults. And then once we establish those defaults, we're configuring the stages in the pipeline. Then, for each stage, we define the job we want to run. As you're looking at this file, you'll notice a few common elements. The most important element I need to draw your attention to in this case, and that's specific to you being able to have your jobs run on the GitLab SaaS runners for Mac OS, is the fact that we're using the extends keyword. And what we've done here is at this very top of this file, We've defined the tag, and the specific tag callout is shared dash Mac OS dash AMD64. And then below that, we specify the image type. This notation here, then reused later on by the, by the use of the extends keyword, tells each job in this pipeline that, hey, this job needs to be executed or needs to be run on a runner matching that tag. The runners matching those tags are our GitLab SaaS runners for Mac OS. So the first thing to call is that if you will be using our Mac OS runs on GitLab SaaS, the thing that you need in your pipeline definition file is to have the right tag definition applied, whether at the global configuration level, as well as the image applied as well that you want to use. So this first notation says, hey, your job is going to run on a Mac OS runner. And then the second notation specifies the version of, of I, uh, the version of the Mac OS operating system, the version of Xcode, basically the image type that we use within the Mac OS execution environment. So we've got that set up. We add scripts to the job. In the case of this pipeline file, we'll be taking a look at the unit test job, right? We're going to, in this demo unit test job, we're actually going to be using an app called Fastlane to run some automated tests of the iOS application. And Fastlane is basically um, this great open source solution that is aimed at simplifying mobile app development. And Fastlane is pre-installed on our Mac OS via images. Um, if you're not familiar with Fastlane, I'll just pop over here and quickly show it to you. Um, the URL is fastlane.tools, and they've got a good, great bunch of documentation here in terms of how you get going using Fastlane on your local environment, as well as within um, your CI application, in this case, GitLab. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick off a pipeline. In this case, we'll kick one off manually that we've set up to demonstrate now the use of um, the Mac OS runners to execute this unit test job. So I'm going to go to CI CD pipelines, and I've had it set up manually. And let's just kick one off here. And kick off unit test. And have a look at what's happening. So now we've kicked off the unit test pipeline. We're going to click in that and take a look. And right now what's happening is that job has just now started on our GitLab SaaS or Mac OS runners. I'm going to pause for a second and be right back while we're going to let the job kick off and get some of the pre-work done and we'll pop back in and see what's happening. Okay, now we're back. And what we're noticing is that the environment's been stood up some configuration stuff has happened in the background, and we're now actually executing our test job using Fastlane on the Mac OS runners. So you can see a bunch of stuff is happening here in the background right now. The job is executing, 
it's getting things off. Be right back in a second and we'll finish wrapping up the demonstration video. Okay, we're back. So let's take a look at what happened here. So the job is completed. I'm just gonna quickly walk through the log so you can get an idea of what's happening as you take advantage of these GitLab, of the GitLab SAS Mac OS runners. Um, first, here, the very first notation, it's telling, you, it's telling us it's running on a specific version number of the runner. And then um, it's actually then using and specifying here line seven, um, the Mac OS image type that we're using. Um, some of these lines here basically set up steps. So all of this, uh, one other thing to call out here as well, um, it's that it's building the virtual machine creation step right here, where it's creating a virtual machine for the job. Just want to call that out because each job that runs on the GitLab SAS runs for Mac OS will run in a clean new virtual machine that's automatically deleted on job completion. So from a security perspective and job attitude perspective, that's great news. Just wanted to be, have you be aware of that because the more complex jobs, you have to be aware that we'll be creating a virtual machine each time. And if you're installing app dependencies, um, for example, like in this job, then that has to be reinstalled on the VM each time. But what it gives you in terms of security isolation um, is a much better experience. And so you can be assured from a compliance perspective that your job environment is completely isolated just to a specific job in your pipeline. Uh, and so then here, what we have here in the rest of the, uh, in the log files is that it's doing some installation of some required um, dependencies. And then it's actually now over here and sitting at line 53, so we actually get into starting some of the, the testing um, script functions that we called with that simple one line command that you saw in the GitLab YAML file. Um, it's doing some scans here. And then you can see it's running the test. And then and this is a very simple example. It's giving us a summary readout of the test results um, and so on. And then it's wrapping up the, um, the job. So let's recap what we've done. Now that that overview is complete, what we've done is we've managed to start the unit test job, right? Review the, um, review the, the GitLab YAML file that's used for the job. I'm going to go back to that so we can have one more look at it. All right, where we're calling the Mac OS runner type. We added the image type we want to use. Again, in this particular example, we ran the unit test job manually. And the only thing that we had to do here, we used the extends keyword to simply specify that, hey, that unit test job will in fact be running on this NA runner with the shared dash Mac OS that's AMD64 tag. Um, we set the job to run manually. Um, we set an artifact um, upload path, or artifact directory path, I should say. And then the only command that we had to call to execute um, that automated testing suite that you saw in the logs was this line right here, bundle exec fast lane test. So in this very simple um, job definition here, we we're able to get a very complex sort of suite of tests run on this particular iOS app. And more specific and more interestingly, I would, I would say as well, is that that job ran on the new GitLab SAS runners for macOS that's in limited availability, limited availability as of 15.0. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video and see you next time.